Hey YouTube, like I said and promised I'll make this video. This is the ultimate simple yet easy guide about cologne you'll ever need. I'm going to talk about the factors of cologne, what to look for, and tips throughout the video. Before we begin, you'll need to know this. The two simple and only goals you should have in mind is to smell good and actually like the scents you buy. Alright, starting off, cologne literally can come in all shapes and forms, but here's an easy explanation. EDT or the toilet, EDP or the perfume, and perfume are all different forms of concentration so the more concentration you have usually the longer it lasts. Here are some terms that you'll need to take account when looking for cologne. Longevity is just how long it lasts. Projection is how far someone can smell you from. Top notes, middle notes, and base notes are all ingredients that perform at different times throughout the duration of wearing it. Unless you have a linear cologne that smells the exact same the whole time. And that's all you really have to know about cologne. With that being said, here are some bare minimum cologne that would cover you for the whole year. Just to note, cologne are expensive. So so not everyone would have a collection in the double digits. So I'm going to be going by a maximum of 5 to 3 to only 1. Okay, starting off, if you want a collection of 5, then I suggest these type of colognes. Your first one would be your everyday go-to casual outing scent. They are usually fresh and clean smelling. They are also used throughout the day. One example is Armani Beauty by Aqua Di Gio. Your second cologne is a work slash office scent. Note. Depending on what your everyday cologne is, it might or might not work in this setting, so I just something not too harsh on the nose, but pleasant such as something like, oh, I don't know, The Office by Jeremy Frag. His content's so entertaining, you should go watch him, even if you're not into cologne like that. He's so funny. Your third cologne, I suggest going for a nighttime smell, something more intimate and warm. One example is Victor and Ralph Spice Bomb Extreme. Your fourth cologne is for any parties, clubs, or even raves. If you want to go a more playful route, then I suggest something with fruits. A good example is is Versace Eros. Your fifth and final cologne is for any formal events like weddings, interviews, or anything with suits. You want to smell elegant, perhaps sophisticated. The number one example is Blue de Chanel. Now moving on to three colognes to get you through the year, you'll need your everyday go-to scent, typically your signature scent, your summer slash spring scent, your winter slash fall scent, example Guerlain Home Extreme, which is also my favorite and underrated. And finally, if you want to have only one cologne in your collection, then you'll just need your everyday go-to scent. But but this time, you have to be extra careful. Normally, you want to look for something mass appealing, which can also fit in any occasion. And I could give you the most common example, but the downside of that is that everybody's wearing them. So I suggest really finding your own cologne that smells nice off of your skin and that you'll actually like. Now for the tips. Make sure to smell the colognes you're interested in in cologne samples in malls or stores that sell fragrances before purchasing. Make sure to test it out on your skin to see if your skin chemistry mesh well with the scent. Make sure to apply cologne on skin rather than clothing because your skin will hold onto the scent longer. All right, listen close. When applying, I do one spray behind both ears, one spray behind the neck, and one spray on each wrist. Additionally, if you want to be bold, then you can also add a spray to the chest. The general rule is to not overdo it, especially if you're going to a closed off place. You don't want to choke people. And say you like a cologne, but it sucks in projection or longevity, then I suggest applying more sprays. It's up to you how much, and if you're out and about, then I suggest carrying a travel spray with you with your favorite colognes just in case and just reapply them throughout the day. All right, here's the secret bonus. Boom, bonus. Here's my collection on cologne. Yeah, and just to note, I'm not really a musky dude. I like the more sweeter scent. So that's the majority of what I have. First one being uh, Y, the typical blue Y smell. It, it smells really nice. I mean, it goes well with like formal events and it could be your everyday cologne. Yeah, I really like it. It smells like cotton candy to me. My second cologne on the top shelf it would be Perfume de Marley Greenly. I really like this. It smells like green apples and it's like, I don't know, it's a go-to gym cologne for me. And it's very pleasant. It's underrated because it's very niche, very expensive. My, my Probably my most expensive one here. So yeah, I don't recommend this, but it's a good smell. I like it. My third one would be Molecure One. I, I don't know, I haven't been focusing any of them, but you can see right through it. Uh, this one is just your natural scent. It's just one ingredient, which is the Molecule One. I don't really know how it works, but it smells good off of my skin. And it's like for the times where you don't even want to wear cologne, but you just want to smell nice. Boom. My, uh, I guess, I, I lost count how many, but my other cologne I have is the Dreamer Versace. I just really like the bottle and I got it really cheap and I don't like the smell. It smells like cigar, tobacco, it's just very, very like 
manly. I, it's just weird. I, I, it's a good design though. I like that. All right, up next, I actually use this a lot. This is Versace Arrows, like I said in the video. Very good. Like you, it smells nice. Like. I, I don't know anybody who doesn't like this. I fully stand with Versace Arrows, even though it's it might be popular, but not a lot of guys wear cologne, so might as well just wear it. Next one is actually the first one I ever got in my life. Uh, it's La Home Ideal. The first real one. The first ones would be like Adidas from Ross or something, but this one's uh, La Home Ideal, Guerlain, Home, uh, all that. All that, yeah. Yeah, I said this in the video, it's underrated. I use this a lot. This is my most complimented one. And I use this for every outing that is like somewhat special or like I just want to smell good because it smells so good. It smells so sweet. Uh, it's It has almond in it, which is actually crazy. I, I like the, I like smelling like aesthetic. If this one smells aesthetic for some reason, I, I really like it. It's really sweet. Next cologne I have is actually uh, this one. Uh, it's, what's the name? Fuck. Next cologne I have is Ultra Male Blue, I think. Yeah, something like that. It's not the newest one, but it's the one with mostly coconut because I really like coconut. I can smell like 20% of it of coconut, and, but I use this also as like a lighter gym scent or like just a regular summer scent because it smells very neutral in that scene. It, it smells good off my skin, even though like I'm sweating and whatnot. And usually it lasts not too long, so I don't have it for as long, which I think is a plus because I'm just out there anyways for a little bit and come back home because it's too damn hot, it's too damn hot. So I, I use this uh, whenever it's just a sunny day. Next one, another Guerlain Home. Uh, it's the extreme version. This one's very hard to get. It's, these these two are not distributed anymore. They, they canceled them for some reason, but they're really good. I really like the ingredients on these. Uh, but this one smells like a cherry pie. That's all I really need to know about it. Uh, occasions I was aware, it's like nighttime. Yeah, it's good. I love it. Up next, I have like a dupe of the Angel Wings one. It's called like, I think Latafa Karama. It's, it's, it's just says it right here. But like, it's very intimate, warm, and the real one, I'm pretty sure it smells the same. Everybody says it smells the same because it is a dupe. Uh, but the real one's so expensive. It's no shot you should get this. Just get the this one instead. I'm not promoting clones, but I'm just saying I like the scent and I'm only getting it. I'm only getting it for the scent. So. This is good. Okay, I have a couple more. Here, speed run. I got another clone. This is a clone of Creed Aventus. I just, I like pineapple. I actually like pineapple. I really like the scent, but some people don't like it. And one of them being my mom. Another one, another clone. Uh, damn, we're going far in. This is like a uh, Creed, the tropical island one. Yeah, something island, but this one. It smells very strong lime in the beginning, but it cools off into a nice, like, sweet coconut sm smell. And I really like that. There we go. And then last one, well, technically last one, uh, I have Citizen Jack. This one's from Michael Malu, and I've worn this a couple of times now. And I actually got suggested this because I told the dude, like, hey, I like sweet stuff. And he just recommended me this. And the opening was so good, it, like, blew my mind. And when I actually like got to try it on, like the down, like the longer you wear it, it smells a little bitter towards the end. So I don't recommend this. I rather recommend like either this one or Girling Home if you can find it. But this is okay. And I did say kind of because I'm going to give this one away. Uh, this is Versace Dylan Blue. I'm going to give it to like one of my little cousins. His name is Dylan. And uh, this is for him. Yeah, and I also got this one. This is a unisex fragrance. It's also a clone uh, of the Mountain something Creed. Yeah, it's it's a little too powerful for me. I, I'm kind of on the on the edge of like giving it away to like my sister because she really likes it. So there we go. Also, if you want to know my signature scent, I'm gatekeeping that. So get your own. And that's my cologne collection. I I, I look scuffed, but. Thank you for watching this part. Now we're back to the regular video. All right, that's all you need to know about colognes. Everyone has a different taste and in this case smells, but I hope this guide helped you approach colognes without getting scared of them and buying random ones willy nilly. This is like one of my huge secret passions of mine. I, I just love to talk about it. But with that being said, I'm Toby and I'll smell you later.
Baby girl, you're so dang lovely. I'm surprised you're with me, girl. I'm so dang ugly. When I'm with you, bro, I never got to choose. You're the only one I wanna have a kid with to watch Blue's Clues. Yeah, you hold it down with the fam. Filipino food, girl, you cooking that spam. Breakfast, the toast, no butter, just jam. I never feel better than when I hold your hands. Yeah.